Hey guys, Dathan Ritzenhine here, three-time Olympian with the run experience. I uh, took uh, Coach Nate's hat for you guys. I want to show you guys a couple of injury prevention things you can do right before your run to allow you to get the body fully engaged, ready, and warmed up so you can get out the door and feel ready to go right from the start. Thank you again to You Can for really making this all possible, bringing Dathan out so we can get some great filming for you today. And they have some great stuff, guys. I personally used this uh, in my 50K last fall. Uh, really, really helpful. Learn more about it and to get your own sample pack, click this link below. You get a pre, a post, and a bar. Our favorite flavor, collectively, Nathan and Dathan's favorite flavor, chocolate <laughs> peanut butter. It's uh, like Ben for, and Jerry's. Exactly. For five. <laughs> <laughs> for five bucks, no shipping, no BS. Click that link, they'll get that sent to you. And uh, now we're gonna go talk injury prevention stuff. Awesome. So we love talking about injury prevention around here and we really know that injury prevention starts before the run and you have a few things that you like to do before you head out the door. Uh, and uh, you're gonna jump in with the professor's office. Yeah, you know, you want the body to really be ready to, once you start, you, once you take out the door, you want to be ready yet because to prevent injury you don't want to be started in a state where things aren't already firing good and the body's not warmed body's up. Just kind of asleep. Yeah, you're yeah. asleep, it really sucks, you know, right? Well, so here's a couple things. You want to have a lot of engagement. Everybody says core, 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 right? Well, your obliques are like huge. Like it transfers, you know, weight from your legs to your to your arms, right? So here's a simple one. Pay off holds. You can do this with a partner. So we'll, we'll show you the partner, but really all you need is like a stationary object, all right? So we're going to Stand. Set me up. I've never done so, this before. All right, so we're going to stand with our feet maybe just more than shoulder width apart. Okay. You're going to take my hand. All right. And then this hand. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah, or whatever. We could do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. However all, it works. You're going to have like a this. stationary object, yeah, right? Okay. We get into like a little half mini squat, right? Yeah. And then you're going to, I'm going to push against you and you're going to push against me. Oh, interesting. Right? Okay. And so you're just going to hold it. So you're trying to rotate to your left yes. and I'm trying to rotate to my left this way. Yep. And so as we're doing this, you're engaging that, totally. right? And then, and then let's say we do that for 20 seconds, yeah. and then we do the other side. We Interesting. Push the other way. And then my back just cracked, so that was there good. There we go. That was good. And so I, I want to show you, like, if I do this, yep. You know, like here, let's do this again, right? Yeah. You can actually see it physically yep. happening, right? Say, we, say we go like this. You can yep. see your obliques kicking in. Yeah. It just pulls all the way across, right? Yeah. And so, so I kind of feel that side here and I can feel just kind of my hips and glutes waking up too. Because, you know, this arm and this leg are connected. They're connected. And so as you pull back, this arm's going up or this so leg's you, going up. So if you don't have a buddy, you could do this against anything. You could do like this a against anything. Like, fence post, a mailbox. Yeah. Behind us, we have, you know, all kinds of, you know, you, you got a light post, whatever it is. All you need is that stationary object to push, to against. push against. And you want to keep that body completely parallel you as, know, you're, as you're doing it. As you're doing it. How many, how many sets, how many repetitions, and like how long are you doing each hold? Each hold, you know, 20 seconds is probably enough. You can go each side. Now, if you're going to do this as part of your daily training, maybe you lengthen it out to 30 seconds. But really, all we're trying to do is engage that muscle. And think of it like if you're holding it, it's an isometric exercise, meaning that that muscle is not contracting back and forth. It's contracting, but it's in one place, stationary. So think of it like uh, pinball going back and forth, and that's your that's the neuromuscular part of your brain going fire, 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 fire. fire, fire. fire. And so all so, of a sudden, that's really turned on when you run. Perfect. Now you have another one where you are really more focusing on your your hips and your glutes. Yeah, and it's the same thing. We want to have that isometric exercise, thinking fire this muscle, fire this muscle, fire this muscle. So this is just a glute squeeze, basically. Yeah. So all we're going to do is we want we want our body basically to be as vertical as possible kicking that glute muscle in right so we raise this one up as high as we can and you're really just firing that glute really high don't let that thing sink because if it starts to sink now it's no longer you're starting kicking to see in. some collapse yeah so you're really focusing on this like left glute right yeah, here yeah you want to be like a vertical line and even putting your hand here and holding just to try to keep it as high as possible right and then you can move it out a little bit and then coming back in and when you get done all right i want you to try that your yeah, butt okay. is going to be on fire so i'm here all right so 
So pulling this knee up. Up, 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 up higher, up, higher, up. higher. higher. <laughs> Dorsey flex that foot up. There, there you go. go. All right, oh, right. Yeah, keep there it higher. Go. Now farther. Now come this way out. Keep it up, up, up. Don't oh, let it sink. Don't let it sink. Right in the back. Back, 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 back. There you go. Now we so go I'm getting I'm getting a lot of glute there too, but then also like my foot is having to wake up and stabilize my heel, my my big toe. I'm getting like some good ankle stuff too. Yep. But the biggest thing is keeping that thing. This at is max, hard. Keeping this knee up high is hard. And then you get hard. done in that that glute on that yeah. stationary leg, man. It is just yeah like burning afterwards. Burning up. Perfect. Yeah. So again, 20 seconds. Yeah, 20 seconds is actually you don't want to do a whole lot more. It'll actually make you sore, believe it or not. Yeah. So would you alternate between this and the high glutes, or would you kind of do all the I just would do it you know I do each exercise one at a time so then you're you know then you move on to the next one. move on to the next one so then you can go ahead and your run perfect well we've got a few more things to show you in the next clip all right so we're going mobile on this third exercise what do you got for us Dathan all right so this is the bear crawl now the biggest thing about this we've you know you maybe you did this when you were a kid but it's a little different it's very specific we want to really control the form on this thing and it's going to get really engaged it's a kind of a full body thing but there is a really good component to the core it'll kind of help warm up your body as well but bring your body temperature up making sure everything's engaged so what we're gonna do it's not like the old bear crawl where you're like this up in the air that that's that's uh, that's elementary stuff so instead <laughs> advanced bear yes, crawl advanced bear crawl we want to keep our shin about an inch off the ground parallel and your back completely flat at the end of when you get good at this you should be able to balance like a foam roller on your back basically so what we're gonna do always keeping that knee only an inch or two off the ground and it's just slow and controlled motion and if you get really good you should be able to put a foam roller on your back and not let it fall off and that's how good you're engaging and controlling everything how about a hot cup of coffee i could probably do that in another couple of months <laughs> so, and you just want to make sure you're really keeping that knee don't let that knee start coming up like that or your back you want to make sure it's nice and flat and controlled and what are you feeling here? What's what's working when you do this? Your core, like right here, big time, all in there. But it's really getting everything. I mean, I can feel my quads going, and so you're gonna be ready. And then when you get really good, you go backwards. And that's a lot harder. If you can balance the uh, foam roller on your back, going backwards, then you're really getting good. But you'll get up and you'll be like, whew. Yeah. That was actually very hard. But your body's ready to go now. You're warmed up, things are engaged, and body temperature's way up. So again, how long will you kind of do this for on the ground? I usually go down about 30, 30, 30 crawls, 30 steps, I don't know if they're called steps. steps, but 30 times and then back 30 as well. Oh wow, will you take a rest in between or will you immediately stay down? Just go right back into it. And oh. then as a part of a general strength program, you can actually do them in sets. If you were to do that, going back supersetting into some other exercise, it's a great like between. So maybe you're doing deadlifts, whatever, your exercise is, and then you're doing and you some bounce of those it back to, the, to one of these. It's actually really hard. It's good active recovery. Perfect. Thanks, Nathan. Yeah, I don't get. That. And <laughs> I said, "Well, here's your first assignment: is to go home and watch that Seinfeld episode." Absolutely. I was gonna say, if you, that, that's the clear generation. Yeah, yeah. Once it those, is. Once those jokes are going on, twenty-two years old, they don't know what Seinfeld is anymore. There was, um, man, who was it? it was but they're like, like, "Oh, comedians and cars guy." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. He's all old and not funny anymore. <laughs> <laughs> he used to be oh man, that was great. Thank you again so much, Nathan, for coming in and showing us your injury prevention secrets, all that pre and post stuff. Um, and remember, thank you again to you can for bringing Dathan in and making this whole thing possible. And as again, as a thank you to you, they have this great sample pack, which you can get five bucks, no shipping costs whatsoever. Hit that link down below. Get yeah, leave some comments down there for us. I mean, I'll tell you what, I, I'll answer them myself if you want me to, so. We're, he's on our help desk now, pretty crazy, right? <laughs> you know, he's retiring soon, you know, we're, we're, we're working on something. Of course, if you like this video too, guys, hit that. And of course, subscribe to our channel because we got new videos coming at you all the time. Speaking of, we gotta go film again.